Before we jump into the video, make sure you jump over to Flag Football with Coach D. Dot com. Subscribe and you will get 10% off all of our playbooks. We have the ultimate playbook, age-based playbook, 32 plays from the undefeated season. Everything that you need to get prepared for the season coming up is right here. Go ahead and put your information here, click subscribe, and I'll get that to you instantly. Let's get some. Hi everyone, this is Coach D, and today we're talking COVID. How do I coach? in a world of social distancing where kids have mouth guards and they're supposed to be washing their hands all the time and we're not supposed to touch each other or come close to each other we might be outside but at the same time we know the risks are kids supposed to wear masks uh, are we as coaches supposed to wear masks what does that look like on the field well today i'm going to answer all those questions and more let's start with our mask it is very important for you as a coach to be wearing your mask. When you come on the field, I want you to have your mask on. If you're talking to the kids and you're six feet apart, it's okay to put your mask down like this. But anytime you come close to coaching in the moment and you're talking to a kid about as far as we are, six feet, I need you to put that mask back on. Just make sure that you're articulating, but you need to have that mask on at all times. Number one, having a mask. Do the kids have to wear a mask? My son just went back to gymnastics and they're doing gymnastics over and over every single day and they are not making the kids wear the mask. So kids are not required to wear the mask. Now, once they have their mouth guard in, they should not be touching their mouth guard. This is gonna be very hard, but I need them not to be touching. So you need to be reminding them over and over. Once they pop that in, they need to have it in. When they go take a water break and maybe they're with their parents or whatnot, they can take it out and they can wash it, but they have to keep it in the entire time they're on the field. That is very important. Next. What should they bring with them to the field? Every single player should have their own sanitizer, right? Their hand sanitizer. You as a coach can have it. You can bring it with you. It's a little windy, but we're gonna make it through. You can bring it with you. If you have a big pump, that's okay. We see these everywhere. Kids can, can put it on, um, but you wanna have one of these. Everybody should have their own water bottle and they need to have their names on their water bottle. It is very important for the kids not to be sharing their water bottle. So every single one needs to come with their own water bottle and keep it away from everyone. They also need to have their own sunscreen. I don't even want you to be sharing your sunscreen with other people, okay? That means that you're getting close, you're probably spraying them. Everyone should have their own sunscreen. And then for me, as you know, I am very big on wristbands. So I'm gonna have my wristbands for all of my kids. But what I'm gonna do is the day before, the night before, I'm gonna make sure that these babies are washed. So I take out all my plays and I wash these thoroughly, okay? I wash these thoroughly before I give them to the kids. After, I'm gonna have a place where they're going to drop them. I'm gonna collect them, right? And then I'm gonna wash them before the next practice or the next game. They will not be trading, okay? They will not be, it's almost like a pin that you see at, at a, a bank or anywhere else. There's the clean and there's the used, right? You're gonna have a used section of these wristbands where anything that's used, you're gonna put it in a bag and you're gonna make sure that it gets washed before it is reused, okay? So if you're using wristbands, you need to make sure that 
you're being very careful with that. The reason why I like the wristband idea is because I can call plays from over six feet apart. If I'm having a huddle, obviously that means we're all together and I don't want that, okay? If I have to be writing on my, let's say I wanna show my plays and I wanna be showing my plays to the kids, right? And it's on a whiteboard and I'm gonna write it on the whiteboard. Now you can do that, that is okay. You don't have to have this, but just make sure they're big you're printed it out, maybe it's one per page. If you are, are not using wristbands, do a one per page uh, so that they can see it from far away. So that you're standing six feet apart in your huddle, right? And you're not, uh, you're, it, it's ideal for you not to be out there on the field with them, okay? So those are just some things that we have to start getting used to as we get back out here. Um, another thing is with flags, Make sure, again, anytime they're at the end, they need to be washed. So what I want you to do is I want you to bring wipes, okay? I need you to bring your Clorox wipes with you so that you can, right, make sure that you're wiping down flags. You're wiping down these balls, and we'll do it in just a second, but you need to be wiping down the balls, okay, after every play. After every drill, it's very important for them to be using a clean ball and a clean flag. Think about it. A lot of kids touch these flags, right? After it's been touched a couple times and then a kid just grabs his face, it's just gonna happen, right? You gotta make sure that you're being cautious. So just have somebody on, on flag duty, just every once in a while going out there and, and wiping down the flags, okay? I know, these are things that we've never even thought of, but as we start to return to the field, right, we want to be cautious, we wanna be aware, and we wanna be respectful, because everybody has, and I'm gonna put this on so you can see how you can understand me, everybody has a different view of the virus. So I want you to be as respectful as you can as the coach on the field you know, even if you don't believe in a lot of this, it's very important for you to still adhere to it, um, no matter where you live, no matter what your state regulations are, okay? So, now let's talk about on the field real quick. If I can get these on, here we go. Okay, let's talk about our field. As you know, I love the ladder. You know, you know I love this ladder. But, I can't have a line of kids next to the ladder. You know, they're all lining up back behind each other. No. So what I do is behind my, and I'll put this down for now. What I'll do is behind my, my, uh, my ladder, okay? I'm gonna have a nice little cone here, six feet apart. Right behind that, I got another six feet apart. And so they basically, just like we're at Target or anywhere else where there's a line and I'm moving ahead, I'm still able to move things move you know I'm still moving forward we're still getting things going we still have a nice pace but at the same time I'm I'm respecting that six feet distance okay even if we're outside even if uh knows what's happening we want to make sure that we're doing that okay so I've set that up another thing that I like to have are stations so if I'm doing a drill I don't want 10 kids behind each other grouped around. So I might break it out into three sections, right? I've got one section here, I've got one section here, I've got one section here, right? So any of the drills that I'm gonna be doing, coach, you wanna make sure that you are having little stations. Okay, I've got a station here, station there. And if you are just telling these kids, they're already aware, but if you're telling them to respect the social distancing, all of that, then they will get it. But now you can run effective drills, right? And this is where maybe another parent can help out, maybe your assistant coach can help out, somebody can help out. Now you're able to, right, operate a nice fluid, uh, active, practice without like having kids spread way the heck you know, across the field six feet apart right so that's what i've done and then on the sideline let's go back to our very back here line i want to have 
each kid six feet apart. So I've got John station, I've got Sammy station, I've got Noah station, right? And so what I've done, I'll come right up here. So we've got stations set up, right? So each one of those are gonna be your stations on your sideline. So you can set up their, you know, their water bottle, they've got their, all their stuff can be in stations. So on the sideline, right, it's a little bit different. What I used to do is I used to have all the kids, right, be on the sideline and they would group together and they would be wherever the ball is and we would go along the sideline to, to root on our team. Uh -uh, we can't do that now. So what we have to do is we have to have stations. So at the very beginning of your practice, I want you to get there a few minutes early and set up, okay, this is, you know, John station. This is Sammy station. This is Noah station, right? And you have their jersey. You have their, their flags. You have everything on that first practice in their station. And so they know exactly where they're going to be. Every single week, they go right to that same station okay so these are just little things that you have to keep in mind as a coach and then look we want to tell them from the very beginning to self assess or evaluate before you get to practice and what that means is if your temperature is over a hundred point three i need you to stay home now, yes, you can go as a coach and grab one of those temperature checks and do a temperature check on each one. If that's something that you want to do, I'm okay with it. I was thinking about doing that myself. But our regulations have been saying that basically what we want to do is we want them to self-evaluate before they even get to the field. So we're talking about parents. We're talking about players. We're talking about the coaches. We're talking about you know anybody who's going to be in the vicinity, grandparents, anybody who's, who's coming to watch. Everybody needs to do a temperature check, a self-evaluation before you even get to that field. Otherwise, please don't come, all right? So I'll put down a few other ideas in the description down below, but these are just some fundamentals, some things that I'm thinking about as I'm getting back out there on the field. Now, I'm already registered for the fall. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hit it. I can't wait to get back out there. Now, look, guys, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Make sure that you click on the subscribe button, then comment, share, and like this baby. Also, down in the description, if you are looking for plays, we've got the playbook for you. So we've got our ultimate playbook. Then we have age-based playbooks as well. So go ahead and click on that link down below and then make sure you subscribe at flagfootballwithcoachd.com and we'll see you on the other side. Guys, have a great season. Stay safe, stay strong. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.